Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. This morning, I'm gonna give a close look at first year side oats grandma. This is a small patch here. I don't know how many plants there are total. Maybe eight. And yeah, I don't know how well this shows up. You could see the red, that's a, it's flowering right there. Some of this is way past flowering. This patch right here is likely from weed and seed. It's a great way of replacing a weedy spot with one of your uh, beneficial, or not beneficial, I always wanna call it beneficial, but one of your prairie grasses your desired grasses. Here's just, you know, three lonely plants, which is, again, three or four. Again, that's likely from weed and seed. That's something there. I'm not sure, this, this should be mostly a little blue stem in the back here, but not real sure about that one there. Anyways, Back to the side oats. There is just a single one. So what I'm trying to do here is kind of mix, start mixing uh, various other grasses in with this. This is the little blue stem garden, but it is just a it is a prairie garden. But the majority is going to be little blue stem, and then I want to get a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Um, yeah, you can see how tall this is. little blue stem looks, kind of looks like a, like bamboo to me, a bluish purplish bamboo and bluish leaves on it. Just a gorgeous grass. But this side oats right up here, this is where I did a mass planting. Um, there's, you know, 25 or so, maybe 30. There one, finally, this is nice and uh, dry, much older than the rest of this stuff. All of this stuff was started in the greenhouse this last winter. If you look back on those videos, the side oats actually is a real easy grass to grow. And it's a pretty nice looking grass. I like it a lot. But, you know, everybody's got their own taste. You know, to me, it, it gives a much different look to the little blue stem, having it right in front of it like this on a slope. It looks really nice. I don't know what it's going to look like in the winter though. The little blue stem will be standing all winter and it turns, oh, a orangey color. And there's varieties of little blue stem that actually turn like a crimson color and stay that way all winter. And I'll be planting that variety in here in the fall, or not in the fall, uh, in the spring. But again, back to the side oats. And I have, that's two more plantings so you can see what they look like from a distance. I think they look fantastic, you know, especially for first year plants. So let's look at the last little bit there. And then I have them again, sprinkled here and there throughout the throughout the ditch. One thing about side oats grandma is that it will grow in garbage soil. A lot of a lot of prairie grasses are like that. But in uh, advertising and on websites and stuff, when I've read about it, they say it'll grow in pure gravel, and here it is growing in pure gravel. You know, I don't know what 
winter will do to it. But this gets salt. They don't use a lot of salt here, you know, but this is the beginning of a, a fairly steep hill. So they do salt it, um, especially if we get freezing rain. So it's growing in salty gravel, which is pretty, pretty damn cool. So if you have a nasty spot, you know, along a driveway or something, uh, mass planting of this stuff looks really cool. And this is, again, first year. This stuff will fill in and be thick tufts of green during the summer, during the early summer, and then it'll get this reddish purple uh, tops on it, and then finally, you know, it'll they'll dry out. And what are you? What is that? It's a horse hoof. When the farrier comes to uh, shave the horse's hooves, they curl up like that after a while. She, she just loves it, and she's going to go sneak it and get it out of here so I don't take it away from her. Uh, the women folk don't like her chewing on that stuff because it stinks. And this is the last batch here. So... I will come back and update this with its fall colors and then if you subscribe and follow the channel you'll see it next year as well in the spring and I'll you know I'll follow it through the year and see what this patch looks like next year. I'm sure it's going to fill in completely and I'm not 100% sure how this spreads if it's stolen or uh, rhizomes or if it's only by seed but I'll have that information for you next time I update this uh, I got a little bit of see there's a foxtail sticking in there I yank that out when I sign off so make sure you subscribe so you see all that stuff and then click on the update icon so that you receive notice when I post the new videos if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you like and or share this video, it really helps the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching and have a great day.